Good morning, you guys, and welcome to the last vlog of 2020. Well, you guys will be seeing this in 2021, actually, but it is the last time that I'm gonna be picking up the vlog camera in 2020. It is almost over. I'm currently just having some tea out of my best friend's mug. Timmy has the other half of this. It's so cute. Okay, I just got out of the shower. I feel so refreshed, so good. My last shower of 2020, maybe. It is officially time to start de christmasifying the room, and I also have a big PO haul to do, so we will definitely do that in a little bit. First, it's time to take all the ornaments off the tree, and I'm gonna put them into the bin, so that way I can just take the tree down and put it in its box. I'm gonna take all this little Christmassy stuff and get rid of it. I'm honestly kind of excited for Christmas to be over. I know that's so sad and so unusual for me to say, but this year has been and rough. This is the most sad part of Christmas. The iconic Timmy ornament is coming down. My CDs, of course, I'm gonna keep. They're not going anywhere. This ornament is so special. Okay, all that is left is officially the tree. I can't even believe that we are done with Christmas. And that's all she wrote for Christmas 2020. This is what we have so far of the post Christmas bedroom. I put my mirror over here in the corner, which I love. It used to be there when I first moved in before Christmas. We got the lights still the same. And then my bedding is really plain. I'm probably gonna try to find a blanket and some throw pillows at home goods today. Then I have the PO box stuff and all my Christmas presents that I wanted to show you guys before I put them away. And that's pretty much it. The room looks the same on this side. Anyway, now it is officially time to start my day. I was waiting for my laundry to be done and also waiting for the Christmas stuff to be put away. Okay, we got the outfit on, fit of the day. I'll show you in a second. First, since it's black, I have to light roll myself because I do have a big German Shepherd that gets me very hairy. Let me roll this bitch. Hopefully I got it all. All right, let's see. My outfit of the day are my Fila's. I haven't worn them in a while. And I'm wearing this Imagine hoodie that's from Honeymoon & Co. Damn, I need to clean my mirror. Oh my God. I'm like, what? I was like, is it my camera? But yeah, all black today. I don't wear black that often, but I am today. And we are about to go start our day. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows. Cause whenever I don't fill in my eyebrows, I always at least try to brush them. I'm gonna put on Cloud and a little bit of Ari because that's what I've been feeling lately. Yay, we're ready. Okay guys, we have the last shake of 2020. So good, molten lava cake, baby. That shit is so good. Mm. And then I got cinnamon cranberry tea because that's what I started the year with and that's what I'm ending the year with. So good. Look at this clock. Oh my God. I just got so much freaking stuff at Home Goods. All I went in there for was a rug, so I didn't even get a freaking cart. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna get a rug and get out. And I ended up getting so many cute things. I will show you as soon as we get home. But now I just need to run to Target real quick to get a couple of essentials. And this will be my last Target trip of 2020 as well. Oh my God, I'm so corny today with all of this last of 2020 stuff. But I'm honestly just so glad that 2020 is gonna be over. I'm so happy. Also, my cashier was so sweet and it made my day. So shout out to retail workers right now. Time for a haul. So I got this rug, of course, and I'm so excited to put this down. As much as I like having hardwood floors, I definitely missed having a rug. I don't know, there's just something about a rug that makes the room more cozy, I think. So I got a little rug that'll probably go like in the middle of my room. And then I also got this amazing lap desk thing that I can use in my bed to edit with my laptop. I've always wanted one of these and I finally found one and it was so cheap. It was only $14.99. It has a little cup holder. I'm very excited to use that. Then I got this this picture frame here and this is for Morgan's birthday gift which I'm about to put together and then I just got some feminine products at Target nothing fun there I got Tundi this new blanket it's so cute it has little paw prints all over it and then I got this little rug for her water bowl because I just actually got her this tall water tower that I'm gonna put her little bowl in anyways I'm about to call King Timmy and show him what I got 
Timmy. Okay, Timmy will probably call me back soon, but I'm gonna start this rug process regardless. He's just gonna miss out on me putting my rug down. Gonna have to put Tundi's bed up for a second. It's cute. Hmm, I don't know which direction I wanna put it. Tundi, I think I'm gonna have to move the bed. Come here, honey. Good girl. Good girl, can you come right here? Good girl, stay right there. She's such a good dog. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm struggling. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Tundi is like, bitch, you are dumb. Good girl, what is going on in here? I think I need Auntie Maddie's help. All right, Maddie's gonna help me tape this rug down, but this is what it looks like. It's super cute. It kind of blends with like all the colors of the room. Tundi approves. Oh. So we're gonna peel it and then we're gonna stick it to the back of the rug. The king finally called me back. Okay, I was like, what the are you talking to? Happy New Year's Eve. We love it. Well, let me plug in my pink lights too. And it is a full moon, so I've been using my full moon night light. Since I have Timmy here, I'm gonna show him this thing that I bought at Home Goods. This little like desk. Oh, that's bed. cute. It has a cup holder for my wine. I love that. It was so cheap too. That's why I bought it. $14.99. Oh shit. This shit is tight. That is steel, honey. Looks so good and it barely takes up any room. We got the new rug. Ooh, wait, hold up. Ah. I love the carpet. And I got Tundi a new dog bed blanket. Oh, you're making me want to go to like Marshalls right now. <laughs> oh, and I love the pink lights. We got some chips and balls. Oh yeah, baby, nice and green. Okay, you guys, it's a little bit later now and I'm about to do a P.O. Box haul. I have quite a few things that are kind of, I think, late Christmas presents. This is officially the last P.O. Box haul of 2020, guys. So the first thing I'm gonna be opening is this purple package here. It's from Leah Beauty Cosmetics. That's my girl Leah's beauty cosmetic line. She sent me a liquid lipstick and I'm so excited to try it. It looks absolutely adorable. Oh my God, it's red. It's so gorgeous. Let's try it out. That is the lipstick on. It is so cute. It's like the perfect red color and it's kind of sheer. It's not like super thick. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a liquid lipstick. It feels so good. It feels weird wearing a red lipstick like and I feel like I look like Harley Quinn because I'm so pale and have no makeup on and I'm wearing red lipstick. But that is the new lipstick from Leah Beauty Cosmetics. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the packaging. So cute. Okay, so the first thing we have here is this adorable little package. It says open on camera. Oh my gosh, I can't even right now. First of all, they sent a toy for Tundi Bear and it squeaks. <laughs> Somebody sent you a toy. Good girl. Oh, she's gonna inspect it. Oh, what a good girl. Oh, she likes it. Is that your new toy? Okay, back to nap time. Okay, that was adorable. She also sent some Hershey Kisses, some adorable socks, oh my God, and Harry Potter collectibles. Oh my God, I got Bellatrix Lestrange. How lovely. Angry bitch. <laughs> that is so cute though. She also sent this wooden A ornament, which is so cute. I can't wait to put this on my tree next year or maybe in Christmas in July. We'll see. And then she also sent a card. So let's open this up. There's stickers. Oh my God, there's a literal avocado sticker. That is everything. So she says, hey Amber, you guessed it, a Christmas package. I love sending you packages and now that it is Christmas time, I really wanted to send you something since it's the season for giving. I hope you love everything I sent you. There's even a little something for Tundi Bear. Hug her for me, please. Please tell your family and Timmy I said Merry Christmas, stay safe, lots of love, Juliana. And then there's a little Ministry of Magic sticker down here at the bottom. That is so cute. Huge shout out to Juliana. Thank you so much, Tundi Bear. It's safe 
to say she loves her toy. So next we have a few letters. I'll kind of go through one by one. And this is from Cassidy. It says, for someone special. It's like from Elf. Oh my gosh, the handwriting is so gorgeous. I just love seeing your guys' handwriting. It says, Amber, thank you for making YouTube videos that make me smile, laugh, and cry. We have a lot in common. I love Ariana, the color pink, and Ariana, winky face. Oh my God, I love it. Congrats on 16K, you deserve it. Also, congrats on your merch launch. I can't wait to get mine. You are one of my favorite people. You inspire me, and I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad to have found your channel. I'm excited to see what your future and merch has in store for you. Thank you for making my year worthwhile. I hope your New Year's is as sweet as you are. Give hugs to Tundi and hugs from me to you. XOXO, Cassidy. That is the cutest letter ever. Thank you so much. I'm just so thankful to have you here on this journey with me and experiencing all of these milestones with me. It just makes it all more special and reading the names and stories of who's behind the screen watching me on the other side is really cool, so thank you. Then this next letter is from McKenna. I know exactly who this is from. And once I get to know you guys on social media, I can like picture your faces as I'm opening the letters and that's just even better. Dear Amber, Included in this letter is a little something special that I've been working on for a while. It was hard to keep it a secret, but here it is now. I hope you like it. Your videos are always the highlight of my week, but Vlogmas is my absolute favorite. Thank you for including me in your Amber's Angels group chat on Instagram. It really is my safe space. And I'm so happy to be able to hang out with other people that are so different, but we are all related in some wild ways. When I'm on your channel or Instagram chats, I always feel accepted and loved, so thank you. Thank you for giving me confidence to sing and express myself because without you, I would have given up. You taught me so much about myself and I'm so thankful for the internet and how it brought us together with Ariana, but also most recently Posty. I listened to one of his songs and I became obsessed. I love you so much and I hope you stay safe at work and you and your family have a Merry Christmas and good New Year's. Please tell Tendi I say hi and give a huge hug for me. Merry Christmas, love, Kenna. That is so cute. And then I'm assuming this is the special something she was talking about. Oh my gosh, I think it's a drawing. Oh my god, it's a drawing of me. That is so cute. It's so light, but oh my god, I look like an animated queen. Like, wow, look at that talent. She freaking snapped with that. I cannot wait to hang this up in my office. Oh my god, when the office is done, I'm gonna have all of your guys' letters and pictures and stuff all over my office. Just look at the eyes, like the detailing on the eyes are so gorgeous, I can't even. So huge shout out to McKenna. This literally means so much to me. Ugh. I can't even express to you how much this means to me. Then we have a letter from Katiana. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She is so gorgeous. I see her all the time on my social medias and she actually just made a YouTube channel and I subscribed, you guys should too. So she says, hey Amber, I'm Katiana. I don't know if you know me by name, of course I do. I just wanted to write a letter to you to personally tell you how much you mean to me. I'm pretty sure the first video I watched of yours was either your Ari perfume review or the tour vids. Ever since then, I've fallen in love with you and your channel. Truly, your videos make me feel something inside that no other YouTuber has made me feel before. Every time you post, it honestly makes my day. I'm not kidding. We have so much in common, but I won't get into all of that or else this letter will be unnecessarily long. I really hope we get to meet one day after this Rona shit is over. Anyways, I'm sorry this letter is so long, but I love you and I wish you and your family the best. Give Tendi a huge hug for me. Love, Katiana. You can call me Kat. So I'll probably call her Kat because I feel like I'm probably pronouncing her name wrong. I hate pronouncing people's names wrong. That's why I always get so nervous when I open stuff on camera because I want to say your names right but huge shout out to her oh my god I always see her posting and like I said she's just such a beautiful person inside and out and I seriously would not be here without your support so thank you I love you so much this is from Katie and it's kind of like a big package and it says please open on camera of course dear Amber thank you so much for literally existing your videos make me so happy and it makes me feel happy and loved it also makes me want to get my life together <laughs> I started watching you earlier this year and just fell in love with you and your videos I went to the sweetener tour last year on the 19th of August in London. Ooh, and although I didn't watch you religiously like I do now, I binge watched your sweetener tour videos and it made me so excited for it. My favorite videos you do is vlogs and RA videos. I hope you have an amazing Christmas and that 2021 brings you happiness and joy. Give Tandy a hug from me, sending you love and light, Katie. That is so sweet. I know exactly who that is. I knew I recognized her name. And then we have a little gift here. I know you already have one of these, but I thought I would make an updated one. Oh my God, she made me a freaking plaque for 16,000 subscribers. And if you guys did not know, I have this plaque that my cousin had made for me for 
Christmas last year, but oh my god, she made me an updated one. I can't even. That is literally the sweetest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. It's pink, my favorite color. Oh, these are literally my favorite things ever. Like I stare at this all the time. It's right above my desk and it's always my motivation to keep going. And now I'm going to have one for my room and one for my office. That is so sweet. Wow. I just have no words right now. Okay. So the last package here is an Amazon box. Ooh, what the heck? It's a cute little gift bag. Oh my gosh. What even is this? Merry Christmas or late Christmas. Who knows when it arrives? You're the sweetest person I have ever to talk to and I want to give you a little holiday cheer. Here's to 2021 being better from Fluff. Oh my god, what the heck? This is one of my friends that I met through Twitter, through the Ariana community. She's an artist and she makes amazing art. I literally adore her. I've adored talking with her ever since I ever first met her on Twitter. I'm just so surprised right now to see this. I'm pretty sure her real name is Letitia. On Twitter, you tend to only know people based on like what they go on on Twitter. Oh my god, I'm so excited right now. I can't even believe that she did this. Oh my gosh, it's a humidifier. That is so Oh, cute. Let me open this up. That is everything. I wish I had this earlier in the year when I had mono because this would have helped me so much. Absolutely adorable. Like I can't even. It even matches like all of the little pink accents in my room that I have. Oh my God. This is literally the sweetest thing ever. Oh my God. Shout out to my boo. Thank you for thinking of me and thank you for just always making my days so much better. Like she has been there for me in times when I needed her. So Shout out to you, boo. But yeah, that is it for this P.O. Box haul. We have a lot of stuff all over the place. But yeah, that was my last P.O. Box haul of 2020. I'll be checking my P.O. Box in a couple days. I always check it every couple days and I try to stay on top of the letters and stuff that you guys send me so that I can always have you guys featured in my videos. So if you guys wanna send me letters, I always have my P.O. Box address down below in the description. So go check it out. Oh my God, I'm just so happy. I love opening letters from you guys, seriously. It literally means the world to me. You know you'll be on some bullshit. No, I'll be driving you crazy. <sighs> Okay, time to clean this shit up. Okay, it's time for a what I got for Christmas haul. Actually, first I'm gonna pop this bottle of champagne. Let me just be a broken record and say, this is gonna be the last bottle of 2020. Woo, thank God. I am ready to kiss this year goodbye. Time for some champagne. I'm gonna start with a small glass for now because I'm trying to pace myself. I got a long night ahead of me. We still have officially four hours until 2021, baby. I don't have everything in front of me that I got for Christmas, but everything that I was able to put in this bag is what I'm gonna show you guys. And also that Mac Miller sweatshirt Morgan got me for Christmas and I have it hanging there because I love looking at it. I've already worn it a bunch. But anyway, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this picture that Timmy made for me and he put it in a different frame, but I found this friend's frame today and I decided to put this in it and I'm just obsessed with it. It's so cute. Me and Timmy has little animated bubbles. Ooh, this next thing. <sighs> I'm literally so excited about. First, it came with a little note with a little bit of a backstory. If you want, you can pause it and read it. It's just something really sweet from my grandmother. She had these little glass bowls made that says, love you more. And then it says grandma underneath. I'm gonna put my jewelry in this and just leave it on my Alex drawers. In fact, I've been waiting to film this video so I can start using it, but it's so cute. Then I have a bag of candy that I've been eating. And then I also got this mug from my auntie Lisa and it says, you got this. It's a cute little coffee mug. I'm obsessed. I can't wait to bring it downstairs. Then from my mom, I got this tripod for my camera. It's the one that I use in my car for my drive with me's. And it's just like a suction cup tripod. If you're a YouTuber, I highly suggest this because it will suction cup to pretty much anything. I like to put it on my window if I'm filming over by my window, or you can even put it on your mirror. Like whenever I film skincare videos, I put it on my mirror in the bathroom. And it's just super helpful. And having two is even more helpful because then I can leave one in the car and it makes filming videos so much easier. It's everything. Also from my mom is some film for my Polaroid camera. I already opened this up and put one in my camera on Christmas day and we took a bunch of cute pictures. Then the next thing is something I'm so excited about. You guys might notice a theme with a lot of the gifts I'm going to show. So these are from Maddie and they are friends wine glasses. Pivot, if you guys know, you know, and then we were on a break. Iconic as f and then on the other side of the wine glass, it just says Friends. And it is so cute. If you guys know me, you know Friends is one of my all-time favorite shows. So yeah, I'm very excited to use these. I love stemless wine glasses so much. Then on the same theme, this is from my mom. <laughs> this is a Friends mirror. And I saw this at Ulta and I almost died when I saw it. I was like, 
I need this. It just looks like the little frame that Monica has on her apartment door, which is the same frame that I have here. It's just the iconic yellow friends frame. It looks so gorgeous. I can't wait to be doing my get ready with me's using this mirror. It's gonna be so cool. Then the next thing I have in here is from Morgan. And this is a plaque that has my favorite song ever, Imagine by Ariana Grande. Mwah! Literally chef's kiss. I'm obsessed with this. And I wanna frame it and put it in my room somewhere because I just think it's adorable. Then the next thing also from Morgan is this signed Harry Potter script. It is the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm just shook. Morgan literally did the most this year. I love you, thank you. Actually, a lot of people were asking where Morgan got that little plaque done that says Imagine. And this is the Etsy shop, so feel free to go check it out if you guys wanna get one for yourself. I also got a nice check from my Grammy and Grampy and they made this beautiful card to go with it, so. Shout out to them. That helped me pay some bills. And my mom got me thank you next. Timmy also got me thank you next. And so now I have one for my purse and one for my room. And I'm very excited about that. I need to buy a second cloud so that I can have a cloud in my purse and a cloud at home. It's just, I have an obsession, I'm sorry. And Maddie got me this diamond bottle stopper. It is so gorgeous. You know what, I should open this and use it right now because I have an uncorked bottle of champagne here. Wow, that's gorgeous, oh my god. And it sucks because the one that my mom got me that was like a little Santa hat, you guys might have seen it in my last vlog, it literally broke. The cork just got stuck in the bottle and I had to push the cork down and I still drank the wine. This one's good because it's like plastic, so it's not gonna get stuck hopefully, but that is gorgeous, I'm so obsessed. So shout out to Maddie for this. And then yeah, the rest in here is just candy. I love this um, Rudolph lollipop that my mom got all of us. It is so cute, I can't wait to eat that. Oh, actually no, there's one more thing right here, let me get it. This is from my best friend Kelly. She made this for me. It has greenery coming down it. It has beautiful pink flowers. This is meant to hang it, so we'll do that eventually. Then it has a big white flower up here. It's so freaking gorgeous. And it says, follow your dreams. And then it has a beautiful message on the back that she wrote for me. And it's crazy because the day that I met up with her and we were just catching up and like exchanging gifts, I was going on to her about how I've just been so unsure about life and like what I want to do next. Honestly, I've just been doubting whether I want to keep doing YouTube or anything because social media can be so toxic and I was just having a day and I showed up there and she has this that says follow your dreams and on the back it's a very encouraging message about how I should keep doing what I'm doing and how I inspire her so much it like made me want to cry and it just made me really reassured that I am on the right path and that I am doing what I love and that hopefully it will succeed actually it will we're not even gonna say hopefully we're gonna say it will succeed yeah this was just exactly what I needed and I can't believe she took the time to make it and it's so gorgeous it's been sitting up on my drawer and I absolutely love how it looks. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is in here. Okay, you guys are not ready for this. So this is something that my girl Katie had done for me and I literally can't believe how meaningful and special this is. She had this Harry Potter picture made. It's her and I in front of Hogwarts just looking at it and we have our freaking butterbeer and our wands and it says Amber and Katie down here and it's literally the most pretty, beautiful painting I've ever seen. When she showed me this, I literally like lost my mind. This was just the most thoughtful, sweet thing ever. So shout out to Katie. Shout out to all my friends and family and you guys, everyone who sent me something. I don't even need anything from you guys. You just make me feel like the most special lucky girl in the world just for existing and supporting me, so. I love you so much. This has just been like the most sappy New Year's Eve vlog ever. All right, now I'm gonna clean this mess up because I think this is an even bigger mess than the freaking P.O. Box haul. It is time to pour up. We are gonna make a New Year's Eve pizza. How's your champagne? I'm having white wine now. I finished a whole bottle of champagne. Oh, we love that. I'm feeling real lit. I love that for you. First step is spinach wrap. Second step, oh wait, no. We're doing a pizza. I'm not gonna f this up again. We're gonna put sauce on it. Remember last time I put cheese first? What was I even making last time? Was it Christmas Eve? You were trying to make a f***ing Big Mac pizza <laughs> put cheese on the tortilla first. I was my girl what? Um, <laughs> we got some cilantro on this bitch. Lots of cilantro because I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> and onion. Now we are putting some cheese to finish off this pizza. We are doing much better than last time. We didn't f this pizza up. All right, that is that. Cheers, we have one hour left of this shitty year. My biggest flex is going into 2021 with the same best friend I've had since 2015.
Okay, we are testing out the new tray table and I have my champagne here so far and it's holding up pretty good. We are a little over 30 minutes away from 2021, bitch. It's time to try this pizza. It's gonna be f***ing amazing. I have ranch and Thousand Island to dip it in. And this TV tray is literally everything. Like, catch me never leaving my bed next year and just watching TV and eating at this thing. Champagne makes me wanna be alive. Timmy is making me buy this. Like all day I've been contemplating buying this and Timmy wants me to treat myself because we deserve it. I've been begging you for this whole month to buy yourself honeymoon go with me. I click pay now, so you better click pay now. Thank you, Timmy. Your order is going through. You ordered yours too? Mm-hmm. We are officially eight minutes away. I need to fill up my champagne glass one last time. Oh my God, this is literally the rest of the bottle. We gotta make this last until midnight. <laughs> We are literally four minutes away from kissing this bitch ass year goodbye. Oh shit, Maddie's got a shot. Got the oh, rum. Cheers. I can't go sleep now. Well, oh, you better ring in the new year, buddy. Can you have three minutes, it? you better hurry. Oh. Fendi's gonna be my New Year's kiss. Oh, she just kissed me. How many minutes? Oh my god, we have two minutes. Two we minutes, Tundi. Minute. I'll give Tundi a treat on New Year's. Aww. Hey, Tundi, we're gonna have midnight yeah. kisses. Yeah. Which, you know what? I feel like we have tequila somewhere. Three, two, one. Can I have a kiss? Give me a kiss. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. yeah, that tastes pretty good by oh. itself. Yay, happy new year. Sorry, you could hear me begging Tundi for love in the back of your. <laughs> it's fine. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. You should leave the audio with <laughs> It is officially 2021. I honestly don't even know how to feel. I'm pretty lit, but all I know is I'm turning Beauty and the Beast on Disney Plus, and that is how I'm bringing in my new year, and I still have some pizza left. So good. But anyway, that is it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here's this week's shout out of the week. Can't forget. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.